So we've seen cases where we have one switch or even one switch occupying or maybe accommodating multiple networks, which we're saying can happen. But in this diagram, what you see is that we have here, this is more like a logical or a topology, which is just representing the network. Uh, technically, this is a switch, and that switch is the device that is used to do your local area network. And behind the switch, you would have, or most likely it's going to be at the front, depending on the kind of switch you're working on. If it's a Cisco switch, most switches will have the ports on the front. And so these ports will have cables that will be connected to. Later on, we'll look at cables, but these are RJ45 cables, which are connected to it and connected to the PC directly. Now, um, in this one, we have four, four pieces which are connected onto the same switch, which means that they are all on the, local, the same local area network. So technically, a switch represents a particular network, and that network referred to it as a local area network, meaning they are in close proximity. They are only assuming it's by they are connected by cable. They are only, um, they can go as far as the length of the cable. That's what we're saying by the local area network. And all of them will be on the same network logically because by default on a switch, um, everybody connected to that switch is on the same network. So we, if we, like what we've done previously, if we connect these cables and we assign IP addresses without, without doing any other thing, just assigning IP addresses on the devices, we should be able to communicate between the various um, the various machines.